this week. If you've ever been to London and ridden on the tube, which is the subway there, you've seen the signs, mind the gap. Today's coaching tip is kind of in line with that, but it's own the gaps. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to begin to own whatever your shortcomings are, all right? Begin to own any kind of gaps in either your knowledge, your experience level, your skill set, whatever it is. And by owning it, what I'm saying is put it out there. Let people know that you're aware of what your gaps are. Don't hide them. Don't try and act like they don't exist. Own up to them. It'll do a couple of things for you. When you own your gap, you make it safe and powerful to be a little bit vulnerable. You're letting people know that, look, I got a little bit of a shortcoming here, and I'm aware of it, but I'm strong enough to recognize that what I bring to the table more than compensates for the shortcoming. So own your gap, all right? And let me give you an example. One of the ways you can manifest this is if there's a question you want to ask and you're a little afraid to ask it because it'll reveal a gap, you could tee it up with something like this. Listen, I know this question might reveal a little bit of a lack of knowledge on my part, but... Okay, or, I realize that I, may, I maybe should know this already, but I don't, so I'm going to ask the question anyway. Do you see what that does? It kind of opens you up to a little bit of vulnerability, but it shows great strength. So this week, own your gaps. All right, thanks for joining me for this week's tip. Talk to you next time.